All right, everybody, time has come for another home makeover remodel, and today we're gonna do the bathroom. All right, now while I'm getting all my tools here together, let's talk about sponsors today's video, Squarespace. Now when it comes to creating an incredible website or domain, Squarespace makes it easy for you to DIY or do yourself what we do out here to creating your website or domain with easy click and drag options. Now with hundreds of designs and templates to choose from, every design automatically comes with a unique mobile experience. That way it'll take the style that you choose from and it will make it look its best on every device. And that's very important because you've been on those websites where it looks great on the computer, but once you get on your phone, it kind of looks and not here. Now maybe you're into e-commerce business and you're buying, building, selling, whatever you're doing. Squarespace has the necessary tools to get your business off the ground running. Including e-commerce templates, inventory management, simple, safe, and not to mention secure checkout processes. Whatever you're selling, whatever you're offering, Squarespace has the necessary merchandising tools to make your products look their best online. So do yourself a favor, go to squarespace.com for a free trial and when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com forward slash Mr. Build It to get 10% off your first order or domain. So, with that being said, let's take this and go do some damage in this bathroom. I've been holding off on this bathroom for quite some... Harper Gray. Hi. Dad's gonna go remodel stuff. She's so cute. Anywho, so this is the bathroom. This is the bathroom that whenever we have people over and they're like, hey, can I use your bathroom? This is the bathroom you use. So technically, it's like, what is it? A guest bathroom? Or I think they call them powder rooms as well. I don't know. But, it's a full bath, so we have our shower, we have the toilet, we have the sink. Here's my only issue with it. Yes, it's kind of done, and when we did it, we did it in a way where we did it just enough to get it started. This is before I even had a YouTube channel, so I didn't really do anything that fancy. Yes, we have a nice mirror. Yes, we have quartz countertop. Yes, there's a little bit of tile there, and I'm actually embarrassed by it. I'll show you why. So originally when I did this tile, this came out fine, but I never bought the transition pieces, the roundovers that cover that. So that's ugly, that's ugly. And I accounted for those transition pieces, therefore I kept it short, but I couldn't find this tile again, so I have a gap here, I have a gap here, I don't even have it in the, basically it's an unfinished job. Second thing I don't like about this place is this cabin. This is the original oak, as you can see it's lined in here, um, this is your classic 90s style. We just painted it, and when we painted it, we painted it a bunch of different times, that the paint's like caked on there, and well obviously it's all chipping away, look at that, you can just scratch it all off. Another thing that I absolutely hate about this bathroom is that I've always been envious every time you'd go to like a parade of homes, like a really fancy home, or like a nice fancy restaurant. When you walk into the bathroom, this is like really grand. And these ceilings, they're really tall. They're, they're like nine foot tall ceilings. And so, you, you don't feel grand in here. All right, now that I'm done crying to you what I don't like about this bathroom, let me show you and tell you what I want to do about it. So this vanity, got to throw it out. We're not gonna have it. We're gonna build a brand new one. We're gonna build a nice long one that's actually gonna be floating above the ground. Now you're gonna say, well, this is in the way. Exactly, my point exactly. We're gonna reach way too high of our comfort zone. We're gonna get rid of this toilet and we're gonna move it right there. We have this nice, perfect nook right here. We're gonna place it right there. It's gonna look perfect in that little spot. Then since it's gonna be extended here, we're gonna take this center mass and move it right down the middle and create this grand nine foot tall accent piece. We're gonna have a nice big mirror, we're gonna have this thing floated, and we're gonna have tile going up the wall all the way up. I'm thinking possibly like a chevron pattern and perhaps maybe even like a unique color for the tile. Now since this is already all gonna be ripped out, we're gonna twist some things up. We're gonna have the plumbing not come out of the center of the actual countertop, but instead we're gonna have plumbing coming out the wall, you know, that cool little faucet kind of feature stuff there. And on top of it, we're gonna put a kibosh on this light fixture, though it's nice and I'm sure we'll reuse it somewhere else. I'm gonna get rid of that and remove the plumbing to have two pendulum lights coming nice and low. Well, actually, it's gonna be centered right there. Uh, nice little accent pieces. And on top of it, as you can tell, this room is really kind of darkish, amberish. This is our only source of light, including for the shower. So I'm gonna put some recess lighting on top. That way we'll have a double switch to turn everything on nice and bright, or just the accent pieces to create a nice, dark, gloomy environment. And yes, since we're being pretty ambitious about this space here, we are going to get rid of this tile because we have to remove and relocate the toilet there. It's a nice tile, we like it a lot. The only issue is, is the grout that we went with it. Well, it's a light one, well, technically it's white and now it's not white, it's horrible. So don't do that, don't put white grout in your bathrooms. It's just a big no-no. We are gonna rip it out. Please don't destroy me in the comments. Listen, this is, 
we're gonna make it even look so much nicer. And I'm sure I'm gonna reuse this tile somewhere else. But we're probably gonna rip this out. No, we're definitely gonna rip this out. What am I talking about? We're gonna rip it out and we're gonna use something unique, something, just something that pops, something with zing, something with ah, yeah. Look at me talking designer talk. I don't know what I'm talking about. These are words I've seen online used. And you better believe we're gonna remodel the shower. We're gonna make it just fancy. We're gonna have a glass door, have this whole built-in thing, rip this thing out. And in order to see this process, make sure you're subscribed to the channel and hit that notification bell. That way you'll know when I put this stuff out. Well, I told you what I don't like about it. I told you what I want to do about it. So you know what? Let's go do something about it and embrace our courage and sweat. We are way over ahead. And let's do what we love the most. Embrace our favorite day. Demo day! Look at this, look how disgusting this is, look at that. It's like piece of crap vinyl 90s particle board and then we caked a bunch of paint on there before I even knew what I was doing. Uh, not, not that I know what I'm doing now, I definitely knew a lot less what I was doing there. At least I have a general sense of direction now. <laughs> what do you think? Uh, do, do you think it looks nice? I think it looks nice. Look, you can get reach all your stuff in there. So the way most of these cabinets are built or set up, installed, is they have screws that are going into the studs. There's two there, three, um, and a couple of down there at the bottom, and of course some here. Now, in order to take this completely off, we need to take off these um, uh, valves. Now these water valves, is right now they're turned off, that's the only thing that's stopping the water from coming out. So well, there's two ways we can do it. We either break this floorboard here of this base cabinet and then slide it on top, or we can go outside, turn off our main water valve, and then we can unscrew this and take it off. So I'm gonna go unscrew it, or shut it off, and then take this off. So the guys who plumbed this back in the 90s were uh, showing off, well, and they created these holes very precisely. So they slid this on, and then this bolt with the locking collar there uh, presses in place. So um, usually they give it plenty of room for it to slide off, but you know what? They did a good job. So only way out here is just to break the subfloor here, which is just particle board. I think it's like half inch. So I'm gonna get my, uh, my assistant here and just, Let this be an encouragement to me to be better, to remember where I was and where I am now. All right, so removing toilets is way easier than a lot of people think. There's really just two nuts underneath these little white covers that are there. Once you unscrew them off, you then disconnect your water valve, make sure it's turned off, and uh, at that point, just pick it up and take it out. I will say this, give it one last flush if you can. Once that's drained in the reservoir, there's some water still backing up here. To prevent any kind of spillage as you're carrying it out through the house and covering your floors with whatever water is left there, um, if you have a bathtub, just dr drain the rest of it there and then carry it out. How do I know that? Made plenty of mistakes. When it comes to removing tile, for the most part, my experience, the tile pops off the wall cleanly without destroying the drywall like 1% of the time. It's so rare. Every once in a while, I get lucky. And I think this is probably the second time in my life I ever got lucky where I was able to use my stiff putty brush or stiff putty knife and uh, pop them off without damaging the drywall. Now, I'm still gonna cut the drywall, so I don't care if it's damaged, but this just feels kinda nice. I'm just taking a hammer and from an angle on top, 
popping it off just like that. So we're just gonna keep trucking along this way and then we'll start doing the floor. If I could give you some advice, this is what got us in trouble here. When we first got in this house like three years ago, this is before my YouTube channel or anything, I, we did stuff for the sake of like just getting it done quickly. Cause we're like, oh, later on, we'll just finish it off. But really, it just got me into more trouble. As you can see, like I did a lot of the stuff. I screwed up on a lot of parts. I rushed it. And then it ended up costing me more time and more money because now I have to redo it. So. Uh, don't believe that lie when you're like, hey, I'm just gonna get it done just to look good enough for now and then later on I can fix it. Just do it right the first time. Ugh, I would've been done with it three years ago. The time has come for the part that I'm actually kind of nervous about. Not nervous because something's gonna go wrong, but nervous because it's gonna be kind of a, a pain in the butt. So we have to take the old uh, cement board off. The way cement board's usually installed is you have your subflooring, that's your giant OSB, and on top of it, they'll put the thin set. Uh, again, I did this, so I know how it goes. And then on top of that, uh, you're gluing cement board, which is usually like 3 8 to a half inch, whatever you wanna work with. And then you screw that in on top. And then after that, you put more thin set and then put tile. So <laughs> I have to get rid of this thing. I, my best option that I think I'm gonna try for executing, I'm gonna take a hammer, I'm gonna take my stiff uh, br uh, uh, putty knife here, uh, and I'm gonna take my pry bar, and I'm gonna try finding a corner, create a little leverage. As soon as I feel a little bit of wiggle room, I'm gonna take the shovel. <laughs> yeah, shovel. And I'm gonna shove it in there, and I'm gonna try to kind of slowly pry it off as big chunks as I can. Uh, fortunately, cement board is kind of reinforced with like a, a fibrous material, so it shouldn't all break apart. It should hold together a little bit, but we have to be very gentle with it. That way, we don't take apart small chunks, but get as much as we can at the same time. So, how about we use a shovel for home right now? Now that's just called being resourceful. All right, good news, the floor is nice and clean. Uh, actually pretty happy how that happened. Uh, sometimes the stars just line up. Now, let's talk about the rest of the demo day is the wall. Now, because we want, obviously the mirror is gonna be down middle center, the cabinet is gonna be long. The only thing that's important is studs, which we don't need it for that right now. But the plumbing, because the plumbing is gonna come out out of the wall here, we need to move it from the ground to there. So essentially, this much down, we're gonna have to remove it, right? We're gonna have to close it up and reroute that up. So in the in the, the wildest ways, by taking more drywall off, it's gonna be easier to patch it up because then I can just put two pieces in and cover it up, if not even one. So I'm probably gonna, I'm probably gonna just freak it, man. Just cut it here. Uh, I'm gonna take out the whole wall. All right, let's just do it. Now that the drywall studs is exposed for us to do our plumbing and our electrical, the last and final step for demo day is to rip out some of the subflooring to reroute our water plumbing there, our vent, this water line, that drain to obviously there. Um, and the only way to really do it is uh, either A, you wanna climb in your uh, crawl space and see what's there. I like to learn things the hard way. Uh, plus I've been there, I know there's plenty of room. And uh, really just start cutting it out and see uh, 
which way we need to go. Um, I'm gonna use my circular saw, my reciprocating saw as well. This is a small blade from Diablo. Uh, it's a demo blade. Uh, it's carbide teeth, nice and tough, uh, coarse cuts, uh, just to get the job quick. The nice thing about it being skinny like that, I can maneuver around. So if I go in there and all of a sudden there is you know, joist or something like that, I could stop and go around. So um, just kind of gives me some maneuverability for exploring. So we found the plumbing that's underneath the floorboards. Let me show you why I'm so happy. It is a lot more simpler than I thought it would be. So the hot and water, hot and cold water lines are gonna get relocated there. They're gonna go through that stud right there. Perfect. This drain will just swivel it to this other side. It'll drain from there instead of there. And then here is our toilet. I was more concerned about the toilet drain here. And it seems like it's curving. Let's see if we can find it from right there to there. So all I have to do is just cut the rest of this floorboard out here, right between the floor joist and extend it to go right there. Really smooth, I think so far, and I couldn't be happier. I am messy and dirty from this. Hey guys, thanks so much for sticking around and watching my video. It means the world to me. Demo day is officially done on this project. There's no turning back. We are committed now. We've gone past the courage uh, and, and to tackle on this project and now we just need a whole lot of sweat in which I'm, I think I'm doing a good job about sweating in this t-shirt. Um, this is what to kind of persevere through all the difficult things that will arise from this renovation. Here we're gonna learn a ton and that's important, right? Um, Make sure you follow this entire process on the videos to come. The next will be the entire vanity, the plumbing, the electrical work, and all that fun jazz. And then after, and then we'll do the toilet part. It's just gonna be a really fun process. I will make sure to do the shower dead last. So if you're brand new to the channel and you like videos like this, make sure to hit that subscribe button and tap the notification bell. That way you'll be alerted every time we put a video out. Make sure you follow me on my social media. All the links will be down in the description below, as well as the merch section and my Patreon account, which both help support the channel, as well as on the Patreon, I share a lot of the behind the scenes stuff and including a lot of the things that I wish I learned if I was to redo the project again. Remember guys, courage and sweat tuning out this week. We'll see you guys, well, when we continue doing this. See ya, bye.